Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I have a warning for you. This is for believers and non-believers alike. Many of you think you can play and toy with things. Things you're not quite clear about because they're fascinating, enticing, alluring, mm, mesmerizing. Well, I want to share a story about a woman who told this personal experience of hers to a very good friend of mine. And I will not use names. I will just describe. This woman will call her Banana Head. Banana Head is a mother of many children. And this woman went with her family, including her own mother, to a show, a magic show. And this man decided that he wanted to show how he can hypnotize you into doing things you would never do in real life. It was slightly X-rated, let's say that, so you get a drift of where he takes them. This woman was a born-again Christian. This woman was a dedicated to God, just totally dedicated. She lived a holy life. And because her mother knew she would never believe it if they told her what she did, they bought the CD. And after she watched it, she was floored. She was devastated. She told my friend about what happened. Now, I am telling you this to tell you, don't go to shows and volunteer to be hypnotized. There is a level of mind control you don't want to delve into. This woman was told to play the drums. Well, that's no harm, no harm in that. She had never played the drums, but she took the stick and she started playing the drums like a pro. Mind control. Where does that come from? Hmm, okay. But then it gets deeper. He's got them hypnotized and they don't even know that he's got them pole dancing. They're up on stage. This woman is one of them. She's pole dancing in front of this whole audience, something she would never do in her personal life. She's pole dancing, her mother's watching, her mother is like, oh, I don't believe it. And she's pole dancing like a pro, baby. Oh, the next thing they have her do is she has to pick a man out of the audience who she thinks, and this is, I'm, I'm using these words very discreetly compared to what he said. I'm cleaning it up. He told her, find a man that you think is the most well hung and sit on his lap and work it. And she goes up to a strange man and she's working it. The devil will make a fool out of you now, won't he? Okay. Then he tells these people to experience an orgasm, the greatest orgasm they have ever had in their lives. And he turns around after they get through making a fool of themselves while the audience is just, just doubled over with laughter and tears. It was so hilarious to them. And he's got these people making utter fools of themselves. He turns around and tells them to commit an oral act. We'll leave it at that. You know what that is. So my point is, you have no idea what control people can take over you. There are people out there that are master uh, hypnotizers. They can hypnotize you during a conversation and you won't even know it. You have to be very, very careful who you engage with because everybody's not out there for your good. Now, there is a term, I mean, people say this and I don't believe it. 
People say you cannot be hypnotized and made to do what you would never do in real life. No, I don't believe it. You would never commit suicide, right? But somebody could tell you, you can dive. You're a professional diver. Dive into that pool right there. That, that roof you see in the other building, that's a pool. And you ought to dive and jump into that pool. You've got the strength to do it. And the person can have you dive off of a building and fall to the ground to your death. But in your mind, you see the water. In your mind, you are a professional swimmer. Now imagine the things that hypnosis can take you to. See, a lot of you want to be entertained with, with hypnotists, with magicians, with all kind of tricksters and all of that. When you have a magician that's so good, they can levitate. Levitation is a demonic exercise, sweetheart. Levitation is not something that's a trick. It's demonic. You're tapping into a power source that is not of God. God doesn't do tricks. But Satan knows what will mesmerize you, what will pull you in, what will draw your attention, and you'll like, oh, ooh, did you see that, Martha? Ooh, did you see that, George? Ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, and, and you're caught up in the demonic, and you think it's child's play. What could that man have possibly whispered into that woman's ear? He may have whispered behind stage or on the side, whatever. He could have whispered in any of their ears something very, very cruel, something very, very ugly, murderous, whatever, harmful. And they don't know. But if they hear someone say a word, it can trigger and boom, they're in this trance and they're under this man's mind control. And they're doing something that they would never do. This will happen more and more in the last day. Some of you get that way when you take drugs, you tap into that dark power and you wonder how could you have possibly done so-and-so? Well, you were under the influence, mind control. So you can play with your mind all you want, but that's one thing you never allow anybody to have control over is your mind. And many of you will be doing that when you take the mark, when the mark becomes mandatory. Many of you will be doing it when you deal with this nanoscience and all this other mess they're playing with. You better be careful, you better pray. The Bible says, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your path. He'll tell you what not to mess with. But are you asking 